Staff is starting in earnest now. This is BT cutting 55,000 jobs with up to a fifth to be replaced by AI. When AI first came out, there was tons of people saying, oh, it's not going to be, it's not going to be that bad, blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking, you're joking, right? It's going to be bad. Things are going to change really fast. Give a company an opportunity to cut costs or do things faster and it will take that opportunity. That is how businesses are. That's how business runs. Here's the chief executive saying, when you get new technologies, you can make bigger changes. What he basically means is you can do things faster, more easily and at lower cost so you can drive more profit, which is fine. That's the business's prerogative. And here he credits those exact things, faster, better and more seamless. I would be making this decision too. If I was the chief executive of BT, I'd go for efficiency, newer technology, reduced headcount and faster, a faster, lower cost operation. I mean, some of this will be to do with the fact that nobody actually uses a phone anymore, although I know that's not all that BT does. I'm not even sure what the best advice to give people is, other than make sure you're on the side of the people who use the AI, much as I really dislike what AI will do to society on so many levels. I also think from a business point of view, which relates to all of us in our own businesses or all of us and our ability to earn what we want to earn, you need to get onto the side of the people who use AI and who can demonstrate that when they go into a business, they're somebody who is forward thinking, who uses AI and will help the business get what the business wants. And what the business wants is always going to come down to more sales, faster pace of execution and managing costs as well as possible. So get on the side of the AI and learn how to use it so that you can be one of those people who can deliver the outcome the business wants, not somebody who doesn't want to know about AI, who doesn't want to use it, who refuses to engage with it because there's a risk you're going to end up on the side of job losses.